but the reality of it is that Israel is a colonist power and I would think that Palestine really does deserve to be free <laughs> like it's just in what way could you see it being free as such I would think the best way to go about it is really like uh, is really just the dissolution of Israel honestly it's something that I really hope gets sorted out soon but in the grand scheme of things I think people just really need to research their history they really need to look into it and see that in so many cases in practically every other case israel is in the wrong what's up youtube hope you guys are feeling good today guys we're back again with a new video today we're going to be checking out exposing work students pro terrorist views on palestine okay i'll love to check this video out for you guys let's go right into it uh, decolonization is inherently violent if an uprising is what it takes to free the people of palestine that's what it takes it's just it's just as simple as that yeah, I think people just need to wake up, take some action. We say to our leaders, it's about time to take action too. Hamas has been designated as a terrorist organization, but Israel hasn't. You know, Israel's. Do you think Israel should be designated as a terrorist organization? Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, right? <laughs> so, what's your opinion on the current situation in Israel and Palestine? Well, I think the um, occupation that Israel has been conducting basically since its inception, 1948. I think it's the natural sort of conclusion of uh, 80 years of uh, colonialism and then later apartheid within the existing Israeli territories. I think the armed resistance that has been conducted by several Palestinian groups, I think it is very much chickens coming home to roost sort of situation. It wouldn't happen if there wasn't a backdrop of that sort of uh, colonial and quite brutal colonial history that has been conducted by Israel. So do you think Hamas is justified in what they're doing at the moment or would you condemn their actions? Uh, so I wouldn't specifically say I condone the specific group Hamas because that's illegal in this country now. But I, don't th I think uh, the Palestinians as a people have a right to resist in whatever method they specifically see as useful. I don't think, with specific things like indiscriminate killing of civilians, I don't know how useful that is. I certainly wouldn't say I'm pro that. Uh, although it, I, on a purely tactical basis, I don't know how useful I would say it is. And I, I wouldn't condemn it either. I think uh, decolonization is inherently violent. Uh, the way you get around that is you don't colonize, basically. It's uh, chickens coming home to roost, like I said. While Hamas, definitely, there has been, uh, there's not much restraint in the way they act. They aren't a uh, military in the same way that the IDF is. But in that sense, they, I think they are held, the IDF has to be held to a higher standard if they are supposedly a Western military with their rules of engagement. Do you see any possible solution for the region? Uh, not that can be uh, conducted peacefully, I don't think. I don't think Israel wants to conduct something peacefully. The Palestinians don't have a choice. I think um, what, what had been going on before was a very slow destruction of the state of Palestine. Mm. What is now going on is a very quick one. I don't think, uh, I, I think basically it comes to successful armed resistance from the Palestinians or nothing, or there will be no Palestine left. I think the closest we will have to a solution if the Israelis win is what the Israelis think of a solution, which is the destruction of the state of Palestine. I don't think there's going to be a peaceful solution anytime soon that doesn't involve some sort of genocide or displacement. And it's just, it's such a complicated issue but the reality of it is that Israel is a colonist power. And I would think that Palestine really does deserve to be free. <laughs> like, it's just... It's In what way could you see it being free as such? <laughs> I would think the best way to go about it is really, like, uh, is really just the dissolution of Israel. Honestly, it's something that... I really hope gets sorted out soon, but in the grand scheme of things, I think people just really need to research their history. They really need to look into it and see that in so many cases, in practically every other case, Israel is in the wrong. I'm not condoning the fact that there's so much violence going on by so many different groups on both sides of the conflict, but the reality is, the reality is, is the Palestinian people are fighting for themselves. And so long as they get their freedom that they've been fighting for like over 75 years or roughly 75 years, uh, until they get that, they aren't going to be like as focused on the fact of who's leading the charge. So obviously there's very like... Uh, so would you say that Hamas are justified in what they're doing then? Well, in terms of their goal to free Palestine from Israel control, yes. But in terms of uh, the actions of violence that are going on, obviously not because violence overall it is not a way to achieve the like means that you need but 
if an uprising is what it takes to free the people of Palestine, that's what it takes. It's just, it's just as simple as that. We've had cases of um, uprisings before, specifically in things like uh, Vietnam. My dream solution is that the Western powers like the UK government, like the US government and several others, they all come together and realize that they made a mistake in authorizing the creation of such a state and for basically being uh, the reason that so much death is going on in that region and that everything, everything, every ideology has basically been hypercharged by their involvement. It's simple as that, I think. So what's your opinion on the Israel-Palestine conflict? Um, well, it's obviously a horrible situation. Um, I do feel like the media is representing a false narrative with Israel. In, in what sense? In terms of like how long the conflict has been going on. Um, but I mean, and like now with the, the terrorist group coming in and like just pushing that forward, that story forward instead of like all the atrocities that's been happening over the years, you know. Um, but I can't, I'm not too educated at this. And so would you say you condemn the way in which Israel's acted? Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. And so um, Hamas is on the other side. Would you condemn them as well or say they're justified? Um, always, <laughs> that's a tricky question. Um, because obviously they, it's horrible what they did as well. But um, it's hard to say if that's justified through for all the years of like damage that's happened in in Palestine because of Israel. So you men mentioned obviously condemnation of Israel. Can you name any of the atrocities which said they've committed? I couldn't name any off the top of my head, but I, I just know that they've been just pushing the board. I mean, from what I've been told, so it's not it's not a, a full, you know, but um, they've just been pushing on the border for like the last, like forever, pretty much, mm. the Holy Land as such. Um, but yeah, that's it really. I don't really know. So what's your opinion on the Israel-Palestine conflict at the moment? So the first thing I want to say, I'm a Palestinian myself, and I think the terminology of conflict is wrong. Because a conflict just denotes that there's an equal side, you know? Both states, both countries have the same kind of weapons, same stuff, but it actually don't. They actually don't. Uh, this has been going on for 75 years. I think the world, it's about time they're waking up to it. It didn't just happen two weeks ago or, you know, suddenly, you know, they said, oh, why don't we do something about it? You know, 75 years ago, my granddad was expelled from his country, he had to leave. There's been genocide and massacres. Um, yeah, I think people just need to wake up, take some action. We say to our leaders, it's about the time to take action too. Hamas has been designated as a terrorist organization, but Israel hasn't. You know, Israel's... Do you think Israel should be designated as a terrorist organization? Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, right? <laughs> you know, um, it doesn't matter how much funding they receive from the US government or any Western government. You know, people say it's a Western outpost whatever your opinion is, if you are a nation state and you want to be recognized as a sovereign state, that doesn't give you a right to kill innocent people, cut off food and water to people who won't receive it from anywhere else, or you know, attack any aid given to these people. An open-air prison, doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter where they're from, doesn't matter what their lineage is, doesn't matter who their ancestors are, you know, they have a right to live where they stand. You can't just kill them because you, you know, disagree with their existence. I, I don't agree with how the European settlers came to Palestine. You know, Europe didn't want them. They were welcomed in Palestine. People love to, I don't know, everyone's wrong at this point, who's right, you know? I think that the, the atrocities of what's going on in Palestine right now are unspeakable. So would you then condemn or justify Israel's response to the current terror attack? I feel, again, that it's very complicated. It does seem to me that it seems a bit out of proportion, uh, given the power and the presence they already have over that area uh, and the situations, the relative inequities in terms of Israel's resources versus what Gaza has, and Gaza being essentially the prisoners of Israel. So do you think Hamas are then justified in what they're doing at the moment? I don't really want to address justification. Um, frankly, but uh, as always, when, with an act of war, there's a retaliatory response. Uh, as I said, 
it seems to me that Israel's response was perhaps out of proportion. Mm. Um, again, this particular incident has to be considered within the larger context of the Israel-Palestine long-standing uh, conflict and standoff. So I think it's quite complicated and difficult to sum up in a few words. Okay, the other person who made sense in the entire conversation is the last lady that just spoke. At least she tried. She tried. But I, I don't know why they are painting Palestine as the victim, then Israel as the terrorists, then Hamas as the good guys who's defending Palestine. That is the plain picture that they're just painting to everyone right now. It makes absolutely no sense. October 7th, it's a ceremony and harvest, something when Israeli come together to celebrate. It was a massacre. A lot of Israel died that day. A lot of them in their numbers, thousands, guys, children, mothers, fathers, they were all killed. Israel are defending themselves. They are defending their land. They are defending themselves because when they keep quiet, they will push them to the wall. Irrespective of whatsoever anyone tell me, this is very, very serious. Hamas is a terrorist organization. No doubt about that. We all know that. You guys know that. They have created a lot of havoc. What they did on October 7th resulted to Israel cutting off the water and the food from Palestine. True. It was a very harsh thing for Israel to do. That was extreme. People, the entire world was like, Israel has broken the war regulation for cutting water and food. Well, if you yourself are to be in the same scenario with Israel, you would do the same. You understand? Because it's very, very funny how people just come about and start just speaking and judging and making, painting it as Palestine as, as the good guys. Palestine are the good guys that are the victims. The Israel are no, and they are not the victims. Israel never lose any, any lives. Israel are only, they're just taking um, support from US. They are, they're not losing any lives. They are good people. They are, they, are, they are the bad people. Israel are passing through a lot. Before any airstrike is committed in Palestine, there is always the warning that all Palestinians should leave that place. I know that Gaza is the hometown that they're living in, that the war is actually like really, really heated right there. I'm not disputing the fact. Israel left, a lot of Israeli left the Gaza to go reside somewhere. They left their, their businesses, their houses, they left there because of why? They wanted peace. Gaza is worse than before. They have less schools, less facilities. What happened? Tell me what happened. Hamas, the terrorist organization that were, that, that, that were there, the Palestine. I don't much to, I don't, they're not talking much about them. They're seeing Hamas as the heroes that is supporting Palestine. But Hamas' actions are very, very terrible. They are not justified to. They are very, very terrible. Israel are trying to defend their land. No matter what anyone is going to tell me, Israel are trying to defend their land. They don't want to be pushed to the war. October 7th was a massacre. It was, it was shocking when I saw it, guys. It was terrible. Israel had to retaliate back to Hamas. Whenever Israel wants to create, to send an airstrike, they give warning because their main target is Hamas. Because they have, Hamas have been labeled out as terrorist organization. Their main target is Hamas. So seeing people's point of view talking about um, Palestine as a victim, Hamas as a people who's trying to defend Palestine and Israel are the bad guys, are the villains, like it makes absolutely no sense. Absolutely no sense. The land that Palestine resided in originally do not belong to Palestine. We all know that. History has settled it. It's even in the Bible, guys. 2,000 years ago, it's in the Bible. So Israel living in Gaza for Palestine was a favor. They wanted peace. Now, it feels like the good have not turned to bad. It's, it's, it's really, really serious. So seeing people's point of view right here is kind of like surprising to me and shock and kind of pain and I'm annoyed. 
the 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 last woman she was kind of like making sense. That was the person I said so like. I had a conversation with like okay, she was actually trying to make sense, but the words I just saying blah 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 blah. This is very serious. And I, 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 I feel bad for Palestine. I'm not going to lie. They live there. Their house is being destroyed, and people are not going to schools. Hospitals are less right there. I feel bad for them. But then paint, people painting Israel bad is what I don't support. People should not paint Israel bad. They are defending themselves. I want the war to stop. I want the war to stop. I, I don't support violence. I don't support war. But the truth of the matter is Israel is standing out for themselves and trying to put, defend their land. That is just Comment down below to talk about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to China. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.